Hello and good Sunday morning. Is it morning, afternoon? The days are all blurring now. Um, welcome back to some more of our exercises for our Dance for Parkinson's program. These are some of the things that we've been working on in our winter session that we are recording and putting on our YouTube channel so that our dancers have access while we are in social distancing. So this is our warm up and our breath exercise that is super important for uh, lubricating, we'll call it our spine, and really sending out lots of good energy to our whole body. So you're gonna make sure that you're in a safe place to start. I've literally moved my kitchen, my dining room table out of the way and give myself a good space. Um, it's a rainy day outside today, so I have closed the curtain to, uh, to just give us a little bit of nice, uh, calm space to dance into. Um, make sure your feet are firmly planted, planted on the floor and uh, shift your sit bones around to make sure that you are well positioned in the chair. Spread your arms out just to make sure you're not going to bang anything, but any open space this size in your house. Uh, will work perfectly for most of our seated exercises. Uh, we're going to start, as I said, with our breathing exercise. And in our breath, we're going to use an inhale and exhale. So those of you who have done yoga or qigong before or tai chi will know that movement can be driven by breath and uh, we need to practice that. So we're going to start with just a little bit of a pelvic tilt forward onto the front part of our pelvis and with a breathe in. And then with a breathe out, we're going to shift our weight to the back part of our pelvis. And then we're gonna breathe in, shift to the front part of our pelvis, and breathe out, shift to the back part of our pelvis. We're gonna do that a few times. Then we're gonna to go towards thinking about our sideways bend. And we're gonna think about it as an extension, not a bend. So we're gonna let the weight of this lower arm let our, give us a little bit of weight and gravity is we're succumbing to gravity on that side and allowing the stretch on the other side. Then we use all those muscles to really bring ourselves upright and feel our energy right from the bottom of our sit bones all the way up to the top of our head. And we're gonna do that again on the other side. We're just gonna work through music with that, but I'm just showing you how to do this safely and efficiently. When we do it uh, the third and fourth time, we're gonna allow one arm to drift up. So we're gonna let it drift up. So we have a nice long line from finger to finger. We're gonna just change our gaze to the top if you're able. And then we're gonna just use the muscles on the side of our body to shift ourselves up. And then we're going to do the same thing. And we're just gonna try and keep that a pure sideways stretch. And we're gonna let our ribs open and we're just going to allow our body move that. And we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna think about finding a circular movement with our, with our sit bones. And we're gonna go over onto the right side, find that back part, and just rotate all of that around. We're gonna add some breath. And as we get to the back, we're gonna go. And as we come to the, around to the front, we're going to breathe in and then, so I'm going to do that and we'll do that the other direction. And we're going to do what I call our uh, uh, put your shoes on, put your socks on. If you're able, you're going to put your uh, right or left uh, foot, ankle on the other knee and just allow gravity to open up your hips. And if that's not accessible to you today, then you can just cross your foot right in front of your ankle there. And we're just gonna find that. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a um, spiral stretch with that. And we're gonna make, let our muscles do the stretch. Yeah, so we're gonna move our bones around. We're not gonna yank on anything or pull anything. And we're gonna just find a little bit of a forward fold just to find a total and complete warm up if we can of our spine. You can go and take your hands down to the floor while you're going to release your head, or you can just take your hands to your knees and find a nice long back so your head is nice and straight. But we're always gonna feel like we are uh, elevating ourselves so the ripple of energy going up our spine starts at our pelvis and goes right to the top and beyond 
into infinity and beyond our power. Yeah? We're going to gather some energy. I'm going to toss it at you. You're going to toss some back to me because we've talked about energy. And we'll just finish off by sharing some energy together. So here we go with some music just as a background and just as inspiration. Again, make sure you're sitting very tall and you're seated, seated uh, firmly on your chair. Connect your feet to your sit bones and really feel tall. Here we go. We're gonna take a breath. with our body. Okay, let's do that one more time. Make sure your feet feel firmly anchored. of our pelvis and out. Breathe in. time. Just checking my music. Now here we go down to the side. that arm up and have a look. And muscles pull you up. Feel weight here. And look at that arm if you're able. And up. And we're just going to shift forward. way. And we're going to sit ourselves nice and tall before we take one leg or the other, doesn't matter which, and either on your knee, your ankle on your knee, or down by your other ankle. And we're just going to find a little cross position. And we're just going to let our muscles move ourselves around. And then come back. And now to the other side. to the first side again. And again. And we're going to put that foot down. Music will change. And we're going to put the other hand, other foot up on the knee or down by the ankle. And we're going to find a nice, tall, seated position. And we'll have another piece of music that's starting. We're going to put our other hand across. And we're just going to find a lovely movement through our spine. And we're going to come back.
direction. And back into the front. And take your hand across the opposite side. One more opposition turn. And you go to the front. We're going to take that foot off. We're going to fold forward. Now you should have a little bit more of a beautiful feeling in your spine and you've spiraled and, and we're going to do a little bit of more, some more exercises. Um, thank you for, for participating with us. My name is Catherine. Tracy and I both send our love every single time. Thanks. Bye. Nice to see you.